Hello, hello, hello everybody. How's everybody doing today? Today we're gonna have um, Yana's Hobby Craft Day, okay? I've been um, planning on it for a little while, so since my daughter has mentioned. So today we're, what we're gonna do is, I don't know if you guys have seen uh, the picture I shared in my messenger stories. So basically there's one of these monkeys that has glitter on it okay now my daughter wanted a glitter monkey so i thought you know what why go and buy another one when i can just put glitter on this one um wherever she wants right so this is what we're gonna do today which is very very simple to do um and honestly anyone can do it uh what we're going to be using is mod podge i got this one from walmart you can make your own mod podge but basically it is is glue mixed with water depending how thick you want it, uh, more glue for the thickness, more water for the thinness of it. Then we have purple glitter, this is fine glitter, and we have pink glitter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a pink glitter on the tail and purple on the arms. And then the rest of the body I probably won't do, I just stick to the limbs and we'll do that. And then might as well put some gold glitter on this picture frame that I have. I chalk painted the picture frame in purple uh, or violet and this is basically how, how it goes okay very simple and we're gonna put probably purple glitter on that i won't take too much of your time because most of you guys probably have uh tons of things to do as is you don't have time for this so you can always watch the video later when you have time but i will try two different techniques of applying glitter and we're gonna try that on these two jars so basically, first technique is when you mix glitter with the Mod Podge, and the second is when you just sprinkle glitter on top. Um, I know from personal experience that, uh, let me just get some brushes, that when you mix it, glitter with Mod Podge, it lasts longer because it basically is glued on, right? Because like I said, uh, Mod Podge is um, glue, thinned out glue. Let's see what brushes I'm going to use. So you can use pretty much any type of brush, which is which is awesome. Just go to a dollar store and get a whole bunch of brushes. Or from your kids uh, kids' brushes. Oh, this one. This is for a thin application. So I'm not going to use that. Okay. I like to have more than a few brushes just in case. If I want, especially if you're using different colors and different techniques. Because when we're going to be applying just uh, Mod Podge without the glitter... Probably a different brush would be nicer to use. I see, even make a brush. <laughs> use that for something as well. Okay, I think that should be good. How many? I have four brushes. That should be good enough. Okay. So, and I like to, as some people say, collect garbage. But things that are handy and useful. So these are little containers where you can pour your Mod Podge in. If it opens... Remember, this is glue, so if you don't use it for a really long time, it will get glued in there. Let me, let me see. see. That's why I have a spare, just in case. I see this one is not bad. I just actually used this one not so long ago. I think that one just needs a man's help. <laughs> okay, so, Mod Podge, right into these jars. You don't have to have too much. I'm going to put one with purple, one with gold in here. So I don't know how big these are. This is like a shot glass, basically. So I guess six or eight ounces. Um, I fill it up halfway. Um, probably a little too much. But I can always use the glitter somewhere else. Um, yes. I'll use it on the jars. Just kind of thinking of what I'm going to be doing with it. And where did I put... Oh, there's my measuring thingies. So get a spoon or a little... Uh, cup or a little measuring scoop whichever one you want to use all you just need to do is get it out of the um, transfer it into the Mod Podge I'm not gonna be I don't know if I'm gonna be measuring it but let's get one teaspoon off here okay. so we have that 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 and Pink glitter and one. Let's do this one. So that's one teaspoon. 
the Smiths and see how it looks. And I'll probably use another brush. There we go. And just use the end of the brush and mix together until incorporated. And it depends how thick you want the sparkles to come out. Uh, you can use any kind of sparkles, whether th these are fine. Oh, can you guys see? Fine sparkles. I don't think it shows on there. But this is hot pink color. So this is really fine sparkles. I'm probably going to put another spoon because I like to have lots of glitter. Um, that's my favorite color. Sparkly. <laughs> Shiny. So that's two teaspoons in here. And just mix it nicely. And then you would be using the brush to apply to whatever you want. So I'm going to do the tail in pink. Okay, let's see if you guys can see that mixture oh, before it starts pouring out. Okay, so let's leave that one in there. I will put it away because, you know, we all have two left hands and something is going to drop and mess is not fun. Then I can use the same spoon. Perfect. I thought it would be a little bit more sticky. Okay, so two teaspoons of glitter in this one as well. And this is, look at this one. It's a beautiful glitter. Okay. Put that away, put that away. So we'll be using glitter to do the sprinkling technique. I'm just going to show you guys quickly of, oh, it's a mess of glitter. Um, what was I going to say? How the different techniques I'll show you really quickly, and then also how I how it's applied, which is very simple. It's just like painting. That's all you're really doing, um, and you can use Mod Podge for a lot of a lot of different crafts. So, for example, you know the hashtag I've been talking about. So this is what it is. I want to do the double this the thickness. So basically, with this one, um, any color, uh, paper, any pattern. Um, even fabric, what you can do is just put it on with pod, Mud Podge. Both sides use Mud Podge on it and put it on. This one is purple. Looks nice. Now, let's leave that there. Let's see which brush I will be using. Maybe a little bit smaller brush. Okay, so I'm going to use a small brush like this. Um, since the monkey is not very big and I need something to, um, what happens also if, let's say you get on the back, you can always just scratch it off or wash it off with, um, a Q-tip, a wet Q-tip or a, fa a piece of cut, um, fabric, whatever you want to use. Okay. So just put a little bit on the brush and put on the monkey. You can do a few coats, right? You have to remember this is basically like paint. So you can apply it as thick as you want, as thin as, thin as you want. And then when it dries, that's the beauty of Mod Podge. It becomes clear. So you, that way you can see right through the, the color that's in the background, right? And then again, if you don't want to see the white of the arm, so it's going to dry. Uh, it depends on how much you put, then it depends on how long it's going to dry. So, basically, that's the arm. I didn't finish it, obviously. I'm just going to be doing it quickly and show you guys. And let's put it aside and see how that dries. And then I will do the same thing for the picture frame. Since we're already using the purple, I'm going to cover it myself all the way later. But basically... Can you guys see how it goes on? So just apply it on. Again, as thick as you want. There we go. So just apply it a little bit on there. And then we'll see how that looks when it's dry. Um, let's see now. We're going to do one of these mason jars, tiny little jars. I'm not going to do the lid, I'll just do the, uh, just the side. Okay, so again, you take 
Mod Podge, apply as thick as you want, as thin as you want. And I'll show you on, on the other jar with pink. What we'll do is I'll show you the other technique of how you can just sprinkle it on. But you have to remember that way is a lot messier as well. You can do it smoother. So there's some glitter on that jar. Um, and I'll show you how it's done with sprinkling on. So what you'll need is paper to catch everything. Let's see. Okay. That. So you need paper to catch everything. What you're going to be dropping from because there's no way you're going to be able to apply <clears throat> glitter without losing any glitter and without it dropping on the um, on the floor or on the ground or on a table, whatever you're using. So for this one, what I'll do is I'll take a smaller little spoon so I can sprinkle out of it. And then what you do is you just take simple Mod Podge or plain Mod Podge brush. I the it in probably shouldn't have shouldn't um, and apply. You don't have to have a thick coat, but this way it could also be easier, right? As you can probably see. Um, also, simply because you don't have to make sure that the glitter is spread out evenly. So we've applied. Let's might as well just apply right all the way around. I'm not going to do anything at the bottom. And you can just remove all the excess Mod Podge if you don't want to have lumps or um, it leaking. Okay, there, applied all the way around. Let me move this out of the way. And let's get some glitter. So now what you're gonna do, because you're doing it on the piece of paper, right? So that way, yeah. So that way, whatever you drop, <laughs> you get to catch after. So I just sprinkle it on. Okay. Again, you can sprinkle on a lot, right? So I put on a lot, and then it will just drop off. Sprinkle. Like I said, this way might be faster, uh, but I found that when you mix Mod Podge with glue together, it uh, stays on better. So that way when you go to rub it off, it doesn't rub off easy, right? So for things that you might be using a lot more often, and if you have anything at the bottom, you can just put the um, it on the glitter that has dropped. So if you're going to be using it more often, then I would highly recommend doing it with mixed um, Mod Podge and glitter together. So that way you um, it lasts you longer. Right, so that's there. That's pretty much it. The, that jar just needs to now settle, and like I said, some glitter is still going to fall off. But again, also what you can do once it's dry, you can then apply more Mod Podge on top. And remember, some glitter is going to come off on the brush, so make sure you're not dipping it back into the same uh, Mod Podge in the jar. That's why it's best to have it separately in the cup. And then put glitter on top so the way you have a few layers of glitter and this is basically what you can do the other thing you can always do with on anything right if you have any kind of paper the thinner the better uh tissue paper that's what this table is actually guys this is what i made out of tissue paper with mod podge but i use outdoor mod podge this one is just indoor water-based sealer glue and finish um cut one of these out Right, cut a design out, whether it's, I forgot what these papers are, the like decorational papers that are stuffed in the bag. So cut one of those out from the, any kind of paper basically, right? Nice and simple. Um, so that is pretty much it that I could remember that I was going to mention. If you guys have any questions or any comments, I'd love to hear them. I'll leave them below or you can shoot me a message. And if you have done stuff like this, 
and you created some something interesting and fun, share it with me. I want to see. I want to see your creations. I love love arts and crafts. This is like one of my passions, one of my hobbies, and that's what truly like I can just sit and, and focus and hyper focus on it, and nothing else exists. Um, that's why it's really hard for me to find an hour or two to do this stuff. That's why I spend most of my day doing it when I get a chance, right? When I'm not doing personal development, that's what you guys know uh, I love to do. I love to do personal de development. So when I'm not doing personal development, I'm doing this, okay? So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, actually, let me show you the monkey arm. See, you can see the, how it started to dry off or it's almost dry. And you don't see the white in it at all anymore. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish the monkey I'm going to finish the picture frame and um, I guess the other jar since I already started doing it. And these jars, what they're great for, um, you can, your kids like to collect things, right? I don't know about yours, but mine do. And they can put their little collection stuff in there, but even better, put um, a candle inside. I don't have a candle to show you, but you can see the light co coming through the little, um, little nicks and cracks of between the glitter little pieces and it's really really beautiful candle holders and I love this color hot pink I did it in hot pink and the other one's gonna be in purple because these are the colors basically that are going into my daughter's room so I'm still not sure what I'm gonna put inside of them you can always keep it open or even make a candle out of it if you know how to make candles by making holes um, or put an artificial can candle in there a real candle whatever you want but I'm gonna put these in my daughter's room. Um, <laughs> knowing her, I'll have to make a few more so she can actually play with some of them. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully you found this valuable and if you did, or maybe you know somebody that might like this stuff, you can take them or share it with them. I would love that as well. Have a great day and then we'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye.